This is Jason Spangler with the ScoutPatchCollectors.com Trader Recalendar. I have on the phone with me Jeff Ansley, who's going to tell us about the Ed Harris Trader Re coming up the first weekend of October in 2019. Jeff, thanks for coming on the line. You're welcome. Well, tell us about the Trader Re, and, and you know, part of that has to be telling us why it has a name. Uh, tell us about Ed Harris as well. Okay, well, the Ed Harris Trader Re came about in uh, 2003 after Ed Harris passed away in November 2002. Ed Harris was a huge benefactor in the Pacific Northwest, assisting with many scout auctions, not only within uh, Pacific Council, but he assisted in uh, auctions in the state of Washington, councils there in Idaho and Utah, and in uh, Northern California. So he he got around. He was a former area and section advisor for the Order of the Arrow, held various commissioner jobs, scoutmaster jobs within uh, my own council and, uh, and district. He probably contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to uh, scouting and throughout his lifetime. So when he passed away, we wanted to keep the council trade re auction going, and we felt there was no better way to honor Ed Harris than to rename the uh, Cascade Pacific trade re auction to the Ed Harris Memorial trade re auction, uh, which is held in the Portland metropolitan area every year. That's great. Thanks for the explanation. I've always wondered that. And now tell us about this year's event. Well, this year's event, we're having a change of location again due to some scheduling conflict with the church that we've been holding it at for the past couple of years. We're holding it at the this council office uh, in downtown Portland this year. It gives us a little bit of space limitations, but it also makes it easier to find for anybody <clears throat> who's around the local area or who's around the Pacific Northwest because Everyone knows where the scout office is. We have a patch set available for uh, purchase or donation when the council became Cascade Pacific, when Columbia Pacific Cascade area merged. It's a throwback to that first set and uh, recreates the S1 of Juan Lamonte and one of the uh, early uh, CSTs from uh, Cascade Pacific. Uh, it's a beautiful set that uh, myself and Todd Hatfield designed for this year. I'll probably have it up again on the Scout uh, Scout Traders page and the uh, Trader Re page on uh, Facebook. So uh, it'll open at 6 o'clock on a Friday and go to 10. And then Saturday, we're opening at 9 a.m. And it'll go to about 4 o'clock, you know, when everything kind of starts dying down. We'll start cleaning it up and get the uh, office ready for the council to resume their normal operations on Monday morning type of a draw do you get as far as people from different states or that kind of thing? Is this kind of a regional show, or how would you describe it? We get a kind of a – it's more of a regional draw, but we do get people from around the U.S. because some of the Pacific Northwest items are just real difficult to find outside unless you come to a tradery here in the Northwest, and we are one of two. And what kind of a role does the lodge play as far as having their trading post open or just – I'm also the merchandising advisor for the local lodge and for the section. So we try to have lodge items available for sale and section items available for sale there. And so the lodge fully supports it. I also get a service group of the lodge that helps out, and we uh, reward the boys who serve on the service group with patches and uh, you know and a free lunch, you know, for them taking the time out to perform our service to the local council. So it, we get pretty good support there, and then. Uh, the Northwest Scout Traders Association, which is a co-sponsor along with the council, provides leadership and direction from its board members. That sounds great, Jeff. Well, thanks very much. I think that this should help people get out there and definitely excited to uh, help promote your tradery. Yeah, if they caught the contact information is on the flyer, but I'm still taking table reservations for this event. And even if you don't get a table, it's going to be a fun event. I know that our treasury staff is looking forward to uh, catering to the needs of everybody there, and it should be a great time. All right. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you, Jason. Great job at doing what you do for scouting and for the collecting world.